Norovirus is a very serious winter vomiting and diarrhoea bug, the symptoms of which are projectile vomiting and copious diarrhoea and can be very debilitating to anybody who catches it. It's not uncommon for people to turn up at the hospital with their symptoms of diarrhoea and vomiting. Because they feel so unwell when they first have the virus, they quite often don't know what's wrong and will come to the emergency department with their symptoms. Norovirus isn't a hospital-acquired infection. It's rife in the community and it's brought into hospitals. You get families with young children. But in fact, the last place they should be is at the hospital with diarrhoea and vomiting. If norovirus is brought into the hospital, it can have a devastating effect. It can affect staff members who can contract the disease and not be able to attend and look after patients. Vulnerable patients can get it and become severely unwell, and it can ultimately end in ward closures. Parents with very young children may be concerned because of the sudden onset of the symptoms and also the severity. They can give the child paracetamol which will bring their fever down. As long as they're getting drinks down them, they don't need to worry about food. If they're becoming unwell, very listless, perhaps their families are, are having difficulty rousing them, if they're beginning to not pass urine, those sorts of symptoms, they should be seeking extra advice from health professionals. My advice would be that they either ring NHS Direct or their GP if they are concerned, but generally the symptoms will subside after a couple of days.